Hi, this is Jessica Pratt. I'm Riley Rocker. I'm, I'm Tim. Matt. Another Tim. Ben. From what? Hey, this is Tom from How to Dress Well. Hi, my name's Natalie Press. I'm at Pitchfork Music Festival, LLC, Limited Liability Company, Chicago 2015. Usually it's a pretty good, like, frankly, I don't really believe in that much of a split. It's like a pretty good predictor. Like, you read somebody's tweets and you're like, oh, this dude's really funny. Like, I bet we'd be friends. And then you're like, nine out of ten times, you're, you're pretty right. So. <laughs> uh, McGill, uh, definitely by a long shot. McGill has its problems, but they pale in insignificance to McDonald's. When I first met the band when I was playing with Jenny, I was like, we should be Jenny Lewis in the news. Like, anyway, but we never did that. Um, I guess Jenny Lewis, because she's the shit. Touring America. Why do you ask this? I mean, I'm sorry, Mom. Touring America. Uh, getting breakfast by free. <laughs> America! Fuck yeah! What's Rockford sucks. Everything wins over Rockford. Hmm, I haven't had a Big Mac in a very long time. Uh, I think Fleetwood Mac has more staying power for me personally, although I do genuinely love McDonald's. I think you have to think about how much terrible R&B there is, and then how, how awful Barnes & Noble is for the world of booksellers, independent booksellers. So I think Barnes & Noble is like actually probably an evil force, even though, you know, shout out Barnes & Noble gift cards. Ah, oh, that's very good. This is interesting you ask me uh, because I uh, am vaguely lactose averse. Uh, so I guess I don't know which one is better. I'm going to go four just because if I'm going to do it, I'm going to definitely do it. And I feel like four is like real and two is like halfway there. So yeah, definitely for. I like the idea that lactose adverse is different from lactose intolerance. Oh yeah, I'm, I I love it. It's, it's don't get me wrong. Fear. I'm not. I have no intolerance at all. It's just I am very deathly afraid of it. Have you ever heard Scott Four? It's like the best record ever. Tilt. Have you ever heard that record? I will never be Scott Walker. No, Scott Walker. Yeah, he wins. Uh, I mean, uh, for uh, I'm on Navi. Uh, <laughs> Je suis un rail anglais, mais uh, no, I, I don't know. English is, uh, I guess, you know, obviously my first language. But we all recently took uh, hi. <laughs> we all recently uh, took like an intensive French class and are trying to get permanent residency in Quebec. So uh, I think there's there's mutual admiration for both languages. I think it's funny, like, cause I when I was a teenager and I named my music that. I never thought about, I, like I literally never, I just didn't, I thought of them as just like a bunch of words, like blah blah blah. And now like I always have these like whack ass dudes who like are in like H&M like tight suits. And they'll be like, you don't dress well. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I look great. Electric guitar? Electric guitar. Electric guitar. Drums? <laughs> Acoustic. Morning glow suits. What is this heart? Yeah, heart and soul is like, whatever, heart and soul had its, like, I'm going to be totally honest with you, heart and soul had its one big moment in the movie Big, right? Where they do it on the foot, the big, yeah. Other than that, what the fuck, like, heart and soul hasn't done anything, so. It sucks, because, like, Nashville 10 years ago was rad, and then that TV show came out, and now Nashville is turning into that TV show, you know? Uh, they're both great. Uh, I love the OC. Uh, Seth Cohen's very charming. I love his lisp. Uh, I mean, if I had to pick between the two, I'd probably go with L. Cohen, but, uh, you know, they're both okay with me, so. German nightclubs for sure, yeah. Yeah, German nightclubs are, are great. Joey Ramon. Yeah. Joey Ramon. Yeah. Friends. <laughs> Bitchin' Bajas. Bitchin' Bajas is the best band in Chicago. I mean, I, I've always been a fan of drag queens. Uh, since I was a child. The very special. 
special thing for me. I watched that movie religiously. Uh, there was an HBO documentary on drag queens that came out in 97 that I had on VHS that I used to watch all the time. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, sorry drag. The Big Dipper, but solely because you can find the North Star with the Big Dipper, which is important for navigation at sea or on land. Uh, when I, because I'm from the Southern Hemisphere and we have totally different constellations, like every single one is different. And I came here and went to the, uh, um, what's it called, the uh, where you look at the stars, like in the the planetarium. I went to the planetarium and I just freaked out. Like I had no idea. It was great. I don't know what's capture the flag. I don't, I don't know either. Capture tracks, they're my friends. They're my friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, capture tracks. Yeah, but that, that, that's one of the best questions I've ever heard in my life. That was cool. Every one of them. <laughs> Jerry Garcia, of course. I've never been to Costco. Uh, sampling is um, important. Costco is... My, my dad, my parents rock the Costco. My dad rocks the Kirkland jeans, my Kirkland khakis. He looks lit though, he looks great. Oh, Anything? jelly. I never peanut tasted butter. peanut butter and peanut butter. jelly. Sandwiches, always sandwiches. <laughs> never. Every day of the week, every day of the week. How does, sandwiches. I mean, I how does them. this taste? Because I want it's to weird. It's weird. Harvey on a sandwich. Uh, records, yeah. Cassettes are like, too difficult. Both are full of old dudes collecting them and I want nothing to do with them. This is very controversial, but I don't like vinyl because my fear is that if I buy a bunch of vinyl, I'll never be able to like bolt in the night. If I if I need to like leave a city or like go overseas or something and I've got all these records and like I can't go anywhere, but if I've got tapes I can take them. And also vinyl, like suddenly you um if you ask your friends to help you move, you're asking for this like incredibly huge task. Whereas with tapes, you can just you can take them yourself. Oh, Heart the band, they had that um, the just to be the next to the uh, heartbreak for sure. Over Heart the band, Heart the band are kind of whack. Heart was one of the first records I bought um, that was used um, when I got my first record player when I was 14. I bought the Heart record with them back to back and the um, man, because that has all the hits on it like Magic Man and Barracuda and all that. I have to write heartbreaking songs to get my shit out, to get my feelings, you know, in order to get my head straight, but gotta love Heart. WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks, probably. I can wait for records. WikiLeaks. Yeah, because album leaks, it's like, come on, man. Really? WikiLeaks, it's, that's cool. That's like movie shit. Uh, WikiLeaks is super important and like really good for the world. And album leaks are really cool when you're like super excited for a new album. I'm going to go with album leaks here as someone who used to stay up on like nerd album leak websites as a 14 year old and like wait for albums to drop. Bed Bath Beyond. Bedroom Pop is like a shitty era in music. It's terrible. Oh, Bedroom Pop, always. I can't stand, I can't stand Bed Bath & Beyond because I feel like I always have to go there. Like no matter how much you don't want to go, you have to go. It has everything you need for your house. And they give you coupons all the time, like every day, and they never expire. <laughs> friends. I'm gonna go best best friends. It's hard to beat. Best friends forever, always, because they're forever. I don't think they're they are separable. <laughs> I really love new music, and uh, I really like sharing new music with my friends and getting new music from friends. Best friends forever who play the best mu new music. I'm gonna say Dad Rock, personally. Yeah, Dad Bods are cool, but Dad Rock's way better. I mean, I I personally love Wilco beyond almost any other thing. Uh, so I'm probably gonna pick Dad Rock, um, but it's not it's nothing against the Dad Bod. Obviously, it's nothing like, you know, they're both great. They're both great. Uh, I think Dad Bod is like stupid. I hate Dad Bod. Like, guys need to get their shit together. And, uh, 
Dad Rock is lit. <laughs>